This week, Lab TV travels to the Navy's Marine Mammal Program in San Diego, California, to meet dolphins, the Navy's best defense against dangerous underwater mines. Dolphins are really good at finding things in shallow water. They own the shallow water environment. There's nothing better than bottlenose dolphins for finding mines because they find them lying on the bottom, they find them in the water column, and they can find them when, they're, when they've buried themselves down into sand or mud and stuff like that. Mines are explosive devices hidden underwater to destroy ships. The dolphins are trained to find the mines so the military can safely remove them. To carry out this important mission, the dolphins need to be healthy and happy. Our top commitment here with the Navy's marine mammals is obviously providing them with the highest level of care to ensure that these animals remain not only happy but healthy. And a big part of that is having them be participants in their own medical care. So what Kevin's doing right now with this dolphin named Maya, she's just about three years old and he's just rolling through what we call husbandry behaviors or her allowing herself to be manipulated. And this translates really well to having a veterinarian come with ultrasound equipment and doing a complete physical examination of her body. And just as importantly, it forms a strong bond between the dolphin and the trainer. This young dolphin here is, is Lark. She's not yet three years old. And what she's learning right now to do is to report the presence or absence of items which are in the water column. Each of the people that are stationed around the pool will present the cylinder according to the trainer's direction and Lark will be asked to search the perimeter of this enclosure to decide whether or not that item is present. She's asked to search. She looks around the pool and if she comes back in the center position there, it means that she hasn't found anything. So we'll run another trial right now. Target's placed in the water, completes her search. Good girl. So she's obviously found the target and she'll get her reward. The team is setting up a carrier to pick up one of the Navy's best mine hunters, a 25-year-old dolphin named Ten. The trainer asks Ten to jump out of the water onto the carrier. This is called beaching. It's not a normal dolphin behavior, and it's one of the hardest things to teach. The team carries Ten to the dock and lifts her carefully onto a boat. We're going to follow her out to the ocean for a mine hunting exercise. Hunting for mines may seem dangerous for the dolphins, but it's really not. Mines are designed to explode when ships bump into them, not dolphins. Today, the team has hidden an underwater training mine, without explosives, of course. Ten is given the signal to start hunting. Notice that she's wearing a harness with a transmitter in case she gets lost. She finds a mine and touches a paddle on the front of the boat. The crew gives her a yellow signal marker to place near the mine. Hunting mines is like a game of hide-and-seek for the dolphins, but it's a serious job for the Navy. Since the war in Iraq began, Ten and her friends have located more than 100 mines and saved many lives. What makes dolphins so good at their job? Check out Lab TV next week for part two of Mine Hunting Dolphins and discover how dolphins use sound to see underwater.